Hello friends and thank you for joining me today. Now Proverbs chapter 17 verse 27 says, a man of knowledge uses words with restraint. Now when we see the people around us hurting or struggling with something, we may feel like that we've got the answers or the right advice for them. But if we don't have the right approach, we can end up making things worse. Good ideas and advice are wasted when we try and force it on other people. If God's leading us to say something, then we should pray for wisdom about the right time and the right way to say it. If we're not sure that it's from God, then we need to ask for wisdom about whether we should say it at all. We need to pray that we'd say the right thing at the right time in the right way. As I said um, earlier, Proverbs 17 verse 27 says that the one who has knowledge uses words with restraint and whoever has understanding is even tempered. Now timing is really important when we're giving advice. If people aren't ready to receive it, then it won't help. Sometimes it's obvious to us when someone isn't ready to listen. Other times we may misjudge the situation. But we can always ask God to open their minds to what we feel we need to say. But our efforts at helping someone to change may fail unless we approach them in love and humility. If we don't approach them in the right way, they may respond with a who are you to tell me attitude. And the Bible also says in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 24, pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. We shouldn't approach people in a judgmental, critical or harsh way. We need to be sharing kind, encouraging and supportive words if we want to be taking the right approach in helping others. So, if you're feeling like you need to give advice to someone, spend some time asking God for wisdom about what, when and how you should do it. So let's pray. We'll say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.